and then just sunk into the ground. Mentally, I was like done, you know. I thought I was waiting to die. I started watching your videos and uh, got a pass through door. That is really, really important. Just, yeah, I really like it. And it was an apartment door, but my son cut it down to fit and yeah. filled it and everything. All right, everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to meet jo uh, Joe. Yeah. Hi, Joe. Hi. And we're going to see uh, your really great box truck. I love box trucks. Like you probably know my first vehicle I ever lived in was a box truck. Yeah. So I have a special place in my heart. So, uh, Joe, how did you end up living in a uh, box truck? Well, I had a A-class, a 1996 A-class motorhome with a slide. And uh, I sat in it for two years and didn't go anywhere. Didn't do anything. It was on my son's property. And uh, and were you living in it? Or yes, you were living yes, in it? living in it. And, well, I was driving truck. Couldn't drive truck anymore. Bought the motor home for a place to live because, you know, you don't maintain a house when you're out on the road. Uh, bought the motor home for a small amount. You know, I got lucky. And then uh, parked it. <laughs> and then just sunk into the ground. Mentally, I was like done, you know. I thought I was waiting to die. I started watching your videos and uh, I don't have to do that. Yeah. I can do something different. Right. <laughs> I sold it and did that. How long have you been in the box truck now? Well, I lived in it while I was building it out. Mm -hmm. So if I get to add all that on, about nine months. So we're here in Quartzsite, and uh, have you found friends and community? Amazing friends. Um, it's going to be hard to leave. Uh, I, I joined up with one of the Howa uh, caravans, and a few of us clicked, and we've just been putting around together ever since. Well, Joe, would it be okay if we uh, took a look around inside your box van? I'm really excited to see it. Of course, I'm really excited for you to see it. All right, folks, let's go. It's a 1999 Chevy 3500. Um, it's I got it. <laughs> I got it for four thousand dollars plus a half finished canoe. I wasn't <laughs> done building my canoe, but he wanted it for his son, so he wanted seven thousand dollars for it. Oh wow! Yeah, it was a cedar strip canoe but uh so i traded the canoe and four thousand five hundred for it it was a paint truck so it had racks of shelves across both sides in the back of the cabin um it's got too many miles on it but it still works so <laughs> well, that's a good great thing about those old chevys that 350 yeah. in there it'll run forever and when it comes time to replace it it's very very easy yeah and my son can do it yeah <laughs> my son's a genius i'll tell you you'll see see him his picture but this is his baby i mean we worked on it together uh so wow you're right it, this is uh really beautiful <laughs> thank you it i wanted a cabin look i wanted to look like it was home that's why i had all the pictures up uh -huh. and you know, a few memorabilia, um, it feels like home. And that's my dad. If you look at the picture on the end, that's him and my uncle in 1985 out here in Quartzsite. Really? Yeah. So you have uh, a route here. Yeah, Roots. my dad and him, His uh, my uncle used to come out here mm -hmm. all the time. Uh, from the 70s on, they came out. That little hump here is my diesel heater. Oh. So that's the best first thing, you know, in the morning. I've got my diesel heater and the vent is down here. Uh, this tray comes off to fill it because the tank is here. Mm -hmm. Oh, so right, the tray, tank's in there too. This tray just lifts off. But everything else is underneath. Got a pass through door. That is really, really important. Just, yeah, I really like it. And it was an apartment door, but my son cut it down to fit and yeah. filled it and everything. And it's dirty because it's a work truck. <laughs> right. So it doesn't look good up there. Air conditioner, TV. Uh, plugs, I've got one, two, three outlets for when I'm plugged into shore power. And then I've got uh, 200 watts of solar, 150 amp hour battery, lithium, and uh, a generator down under there. So do you have solar to go with the generator? Yeah, I have uh, 200 watts on the roof. Oh, that's good. And then I've got 150 amp hour battery down here. And this kind of is hard to get to, but my son built in a generator underneath in a box outside. Oh, okay. And yes. then he ran the controls up into here so that I can start it and run it from inside the cab or inside here. 
the choke and everything is up here. Right. And then the plugs and stuff. But the so, generator's outside. Oh, the generator's, yeah, yeah right. it's completely outside. But also my, my controls and my charger and everything for the uh, solar is in this little cupboard. Nice little seating area with storage. Well, yeah, this was, everything is scavenged. This was a captain's bed, you know, those kids' beds uh -huh. that have uh, drawers underneath? Yes. So I've got Foxy's little drawer for her stuff. And then I've got literally more junk drawers than any <laughs> place you've probably ever viewed. So I've got all that storage, and then they only go back to here. So this lifts up. And there's my sewing machine, fabric, and Costco closet, toilet paper, paper towels, that kind of stuff. Right. And these cabinets were, uh, there's three sets. So there's these and those up there, 40 bucks on offer up. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> this is kind of my coffee table. So All I right. can, you know, sit there and have a table. My fridge, nice. I got it blocked off so the heat doesn't get right into it, mm -hmm. but it's all, you know, fridgy. Yes. <laughs> it's mostly freezer. This much of it is freezer. There's a little fridge in the back, but I use a lot of vegetables and meat instead of junk. Okay. You know those people that plan for emergencies for the rest of their life? Yes. <laughs> I could probably live a year off this stuff. I mean, there's a plastic tub that goes all the way up to this shelf full of oatmeal and beans <laughs> and <laughs> black beans especially they're good protein but all that stuff and canned foods up back here but i can live for a year off that stuff and uh, i'm ashamed to say this stuff too well having food on hand is never anything you should be ashamed of well i <laughs> i just i'm trying to stay out and not go to town right as long as possible that's how you save money yeah and then i've got well my spice rack this was a ladder from a bunk bed a kid's bunk bed. Wow. <laughs> this was a vanity, a bathroom vanity. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it had big sinks in both ends mm -hmm. uh, and false fronts for the drawers. So we uh, built a drawer and my stove, my cast iron all fits right in this drawer. And so I can just set it up on the counter to use it. Huh. This was my son's dresser, my grandson's dresser, sorry. And it was a big tall dresser. So we cut it in half, framed around it and built a bed over it. Wow. And that's what determined the height of my bed right was storage i have a little footstool so i can get up onto it but having the high top you can still sit in there just fine oh i sit up yeah, yeah. in fact i sit up there when i'm like watching which i haven't watched tv yet but when i was at home i did or when i was still at my son's house i did uh bar sink it's not big enough i will replace it when i can but this was 20 bucks so and this my son remodels apartments so he brought this home it was free because it does that. <laughs> the only thing I bought for aesthetics was the beadboard. Um, I wanted the beadboard and then these little trim pieces are uh, chopped up board, you know, that we just cut up mm -hmm. for the trim board to hold up the beadboard. Your basic drawers. And I put these things in so that they wouldn't open and all the cupboards have them and stuff. But. Oh, so this is a shower. Yeah. Wow. And this is, this is an apartment door right back in here, <laughs> taken out of an apartment. It was warped a little bit, so they didn't want it anymore. And uh, he was remodeling it. So, and then this was from uh, the, this is flooring. And it was, the shower you could tell was just thrown together because I found a shower pan, a 1967 camp trailer. She was parting it out <laughs> and turning it into a bedroom in her backyard. And so uh, I found a shower pan last minute. And so we threw up the shower. It works really good. And I'm like, so glad I have a shower. Yeah. And this <laughs> is a on-demand hot water heater? Yeah, on-demand yeah, hot nice. water heater, 12 volt. Having, well. a, having a son who's a handyman really paid he off here. He can do anything. Yeah. He really went all out to make it a beautiful home for me. And you kept the roll-up door in. I kept the roll-up door. And that's why the, even the shower is short and these cabinets are down right. there is so that I could roll up and down the door. Right. You know, I have one of those romantic ideas that I'm going to be able to park on a beach somewhere and watch the sun set out the roll-up door from bed. Not that it's happened. Well, he did a great job in here between the two of you. And you have almost no money invested in this. Oh, no, no. This was $70. This, these all three were $40. Yeah. And the rest was... Okay, the 
kit, the bed was on offer up for free and it had a brand new mattress on it. Wow. So my mattress is brand new. She, it was in the plastic. She had it uh, in a guest bedroom and she wanted to turn it into a sewing room and it never got used. So I got a brand new mattress and everything for free. And one of the great things about these box trucks, you got a flat floor mostly. Yeah. And you've got straight walls, square walls. Exactly. Yeah. And you can put in house furniture super well. Well, if you look down here, the wheel wells are only, what, two and a half inches, three inches? Yeah. Tall. And yeah, and he brought this flooring home from an apartment. He took it out of an apartment that he did new flooring for. And that's nice. That's nice flooring. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the fridge and the solar, those were my expenses. But the rest of it, it was pretty it was pretty easy. I mean the wood, hundred dollars in, in beadboard. This box he put in is my uh propane tank. Mm -hmm. And then there's a gas can and a diesel can to store, you know, everything I need since I got a little of everything in there. So the gas can, the diesel can, and then he made a metal box so it would be safe. And do you have tanks uh, underneath, water tanks? I have a uh, gray tank right back there. It's metal. Oh, yeah. He just happened to come across a metal tank. It's a gray tank. And so my gray water is in there, and I can just drop a hose to empty it. And then the this thing is for the e-bike and trash. Sorry, I had you over my trash. That's my generator. <laughs> nice. Yeah. But it's a... 3,000 watt Genico. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, it is. It's really big. <laughs> and then uh, he put this in. He built it. He was just bored one day and cut the aluminum and everything and put the piano hinge in for my water fill. Oh, yeah. So I could just. So you do it. have a water tank just inside here? I do. Oh. I wanted my water inside yes. so it couldn't freeze. This is, I keep my barbecue in a box so it doesn't rattle around so much. And then my hose, extra seat, barbecue thing. And then the water tank is a 25 gallon tank and you can barely see it, but it's right back there. Oh, and I got a extra hot water heater that I don't know what to do with. Um, I bought it for like 280 before I, um, before I got my shower in, before I realized I could put a shower in, I bought that for just outdoor showers. And you can put one end in the Creek and it it's pump and pumps heater hot water. Everything. Yeah. Well, Joe, thank you so much for sharing your home with us. It is really beautiful. I love these box trucks. <laughs> Thanks. You can just see all the advantages to it. That, oh, yeah. Yeah. All that space and and plenty of room, easy well, it, to build. It was your idea. <laughs> it was your idea. You know, I've heard you talk about them and show them, and I've watched all that stuff. Well, yeah. and you were right. You're right, because there's so much space in there. Right. And it's not claustrophobic. There's not cabinets all over around your head and stuff. And there's plenty of storage down below that I don't have to build out the top and make it stuffy. You know, they, they buy these $150,000 sprinters and things, and I think yours is just as good or better. I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah. I am very proud of it. Okay, well, Joe, thank you so much for sharing your home with us. It's uh, really an inspiration. You've done, a, you and your son have done an amazing job. He's an amazing guy. Yeah, anybody wants it done, get a hold of me. Oh, really? Your son? Uh, he has a work? huge shop oh. and up in Washington. He's already got two others going right now that he just started because he liked this so much. Right. And he's doing it cheaper than most because he gathers stuff. He's always bringing stuff, flooring home, uh, insulation. He's always bringing it home from the jobs he does. Okay. So, and so people were interested in, uh, you know, spending summers in Washington is fantastic. It's yeah. Great yeah. Time. Uh, how could they get hold of you or your son? Just my email, uh, Jolene Woodruff at gmail.com. J O L E N E W O O D R U F F at gmail.com. Right. And right. then I pass everything on to him. Right. So, uh, that's a, that's a great idea, folks. If you're looking for a really inexpensive and really well done rig, then this is an opportunity you should grab. Well, yeah. Jolene, thank you so much for uh, sharing your rig with us. I really appreciate it. It's great. Thank you. Thank you, too. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, folks, I'm sure you've been inspired by how inexpensive this is and how wonderful it turned out. If so, then like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye now. Bye.